Okay, here we go. Part two of many for the Jar of Happiness. I've been through a bunch. I got a bunch more to go. For those of you who don't know, just joining, I write down cool things that happen during the year, put them in the jar. At the end of the year, I read what's in the jar. I'm going to try to keep these videos kind of short, but we'll see what happens. Some of these I've read already due to trying to do this video before, and the phone doesn't deal with it. So, we'll see if we can make the phone go cooperate. 8921. Just back from Armacist at Cooper's Lake Campground. Had a blast. Got a bunch of cool stuff. Rain one day. Not bad. Cold one night. Hot one day. Fantastic weather the rest of the time. Threw some axes, mostly left-handed. Was well worth it. Really only bad thing, other than dealing with my arm, was a bird pooped on my tent. Yes, I have a pavilion and a bird pooped on it. Dirty bird. Not that bird. No. No. She was fine. They were fine. Anyway. Things I got. Things I got for Penny. I got her some mouse hawks and a fuzzy hat and a belt and other stuff. Things for Joey. I got Joey a pair of Hakama. For myself, I got a Gambeson, some complete anachronists, which are an SCA newsletter, um, and some leatherworking stuff. Leather! And, uh... For Penny, Penny got me some axes, uh, three pairs of socks, two shirts, and a t-shirt. Lost track, really, but that's the idea. Penny and Joey got a bunch of garb. Penny got Joey a bunch of garb. And we had two days of fish, salmon and trout. Yeah, salmon and trout night at Penzik and or Armistice is a thing. Um, Armistice was a fantastic event. If you didn't go, you're a loss. Um, it was really good. The weather was fantastic. Next nearest camp was 100 yards away. Um, having all the space in the world was great. Uh, the date, 7 12 21. Was not feeling that good. Kind of blue. Driving in the city, 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Things out of the. Thinking out of the blue that I wanted Christmas music. Dumb, I know, but I turn on the radio and hit scan. Feliz Navidad comes on. I turned it up with the windows down. Then they played another Christmas song. The song after that was not a Christmas song, but then the static took over and the station was gone. I'm guessing it was a New Jersey station, probably a college station. See, that's kind of what this jar is about. Weird things that happen. You know, I'm feeling bad. You know, need need some ridiculous cheering up. And the fates provided. Hey, this one's written in pencil. I think. 62821. Saturday went down to Douglasville to a hobby store... Penny got me an RC Drift car, Mini Z. I was looking for the Mini Z Jeep, but they were sold out. I got tires and a charger. The shop threw in eight AAA rechargeable batteries. Sunday, we went to a shop in Tom's River, New Jersey. They had the Jeep. Got it and a light kit for both. Then went to... Seaside Heights. In the end, I spent more than I would have liked, but had fun time. Me and Penny walked on the beach, and that was a lot of fun also. Up till 4 a.m. installing lights in the lights in the tiny cars, tiny RC cars. Yeah, because while dealing with the surgery and stuff, I couldn't do a lot of stuff, and I found out about these micro-crawler cars 
So we went to um, Parkline Hobbies. They didn't have any, but Penny then proceeded to get me this. It is a all-wheel drive drift car from uh, Kyosho. The details on this, if you can't see it, are ridiculously detailed. And then we went to Tom's River to Hobby Town, I do believe it is, and got this. No, the paint job is not stock. It is in the process of being turned into a Jurassic Park Jeep. Yes, these are ridiculously well put together, articulated. They're not cheap, but you know, it's this big, teeny little Jeep. And it's a bit of an addictive hobby. I'm kind of wrapped up in that now. Dum, dum, dum. Corn maze. Corn maze uh, 11, 621. Corn maze. Got a ride with James at stupid AM. The weather was fantastic. The maze was better than ever. My leg was hurting a bit. It was slippery, mud, so I didn't do all the scenarios. After we went to Pizza Hut with Albion James, and Albion picked up the tab. Thank you, Albion, for hooking me up. Haven't had Pizza Hut in forever. That was a ridiculous blast from the past. Um, yes, Cord Maze was amazing. James got some drone footage of people in the maze. Uh, the tournament that wasn't in the maze was a lot of fun. Duke Sir Timothy put on a great show. I don't even know if he was there this year, but I don't think so because of health reasons. But if you haven't been to the corn maze, it's just about as fun as it sounds. Plus, normally it's really, really, really cold. And this year it wasn't. So all the people who went, I don't know, I don't want to go because it's too cold. We were ditching our armor and walking around in shirts the rest of the time, you know, no jackets, no cloaks, no nothing, because it was gorgeous. Anyway, let's see. 12, 11, 21. Hey, that's a um, palindrome. One, two, one, one, two, one. Hey, Firebird. I'm a lateral thinker. Go figure. Firebird, Yule, same day. Drop Penny off at Yule. Drive to New Jersey to get Dorigen. Take Dorigen back to Yule, go home, get ready for the Firebird Festival. When I get a text from Marianne that the Firebird was called off because of high winds. Went back to Yule and helped in the kitchen. Long day. Blender died, so Christopher got Penny a new blender for Christmas. Then the old one started to work again. Okay. Yes, I was booked to do the Firebird Festival, and as usual, it overlapped the Kale's Yule event. However, they canceled the event, and in very annoying fashion, I was not notified. Marianne, who is at the Yule event, got a text from somebody saying it's canceled and sent it to me. So, by long way about, I find out about it. So I go back to Yule, help in the kitchen... And uh, they postponed it to the following week for the uh, Firebird Festival. But yeah, and then the blender thing. Everyone in the kitchen tried the blender. It was dead. They needed a blender. Christopher sent someone out and bought a new blender. And then when I got there, I you know, as we're leaving, I'm packing up. I'm like, is this no good? I'll plug it in and try it. And it worked. And I'm like, eh? So do I trust it? Hell no. Um, but if it's any consolation, we've been using the new blender just about every day because it has the smoothie makers on it too. So, you know, it's a ninja with a smoothie maker. So it's like, yeah, we've been using that every day. So thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, everybody. 8 20, 21. Getting ready for Lisa's 50th birthday. Got her a Belgian siphon coffee maker. Mellowen is roasting fresh coffee for her and is giving her a grinder. 
I yeah, will also be boil, it's gonna go bringing quick. her Wawa coffee as she asks. She's gonna boil the pot out. She fast. doesn't know about the rest of this. Boil the pot out quick. I just told her that I had yeah, the coffee gone. thing handled. Now I'm gonna be wow. I can't wait We're to see ten minutes. Side yeah, the uh, Belgian back. coffee maker is an amazing, like science fair project kind of deal. I recommend looking that thing up. Uh, blew my sister's mind. It was a fantastic thing. The coffee was made. Yes, I'm video recording. Was this. roasted Good. the day before. Yeah, my sister was spoiled for coffee that day, and I hope she likes it. So that's this video. It's been a very quick 10 on this one, so <laughs> hopefully the phone lets me do this, and I will see you later. If this thing you hear weird noises? So freaking cool!